Hi there, in this lesson we will learn about different types of polymers that exist around us and the common types of polymers that we use. Polymers are macromolecules that contain repeating unit of monomers. The process of combining these monomers into long chain molecule is called polymerization. Polymers are classified into natural and synthetic polymers. Natural polymers exist in humans, animals and plants while synthetic polymers are produced by chemical reactions in lab or industries. Let's have a look at some of the examples of natural polymers. Proteins in eggs are polymers with amino acid monomers. Meanwhile, starch is the polymer that makes up potatoes with glucose acting as its monomer. Natural rubbers are made up of monomers called isoprene. Do you know that every cell of our body contains DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid? It is the genetic material in humans and almost all other organisms. The monomers of DNA are called nucleotide. Nucleotide have three components, a base, a sugar, deoxyribose, and a phosphate residue. The four bases are adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. Moving on, let's have a look at synthetic polymers and their examples. Polyethene PE is made up of monomers known as ethene. Plastic bags used during groceries are made of low-density polyethene LDPE. Propene are monomers which makes polypropylene and are also used in making plastic containers and plastic furnitures. Polyvinyl chloride, better known as PVC, are made up of chloroethene monomers. Window panes, water pipes and electric cable insulators are the common things made from PVC. You may have come across polystyrene material while being in a party. Polystyrene or PS are made from monomers called phenylethylene, usually called as a foam material which is water resistant and are suitable to be used as drinking cups and plates served at parties. On the other hand, perspec are synthetic polymers made from monomers known as methyl methacrylate. Perspec are used as food containers and stationary holders. Now that you have learnt about synthetic polymers, let's further understand the three synthetic polymer classification based on their properties, which are thermoplastic, thermoset, and elastomers. Thermoplastic is a plastic which can be recast or moulded many times upon heating. During heating, the polymer chains slide against one another and the thermoplastic melts. PVC, polystyrene, perspec, polyester and nylon are classified as thermoplastic. In contrast, thermoset is a plastic which can only be cast once upon heating. Therefore, thermoset are harder, heat resistant and long lasting. Example of thermoset are bakelite, melamine and epoxy. The third type is known as elastomers as it has elastic properties like rubbers. Synthetic rubbers, polyisoprene and polybutadine are examples of elastomers. Polymer are materials which are commonly used in our daily lives. It has become fundamental in medical field. For instance, polypropylene materials are used in various medical devices and as personal protective equipment, PPE. Polyurethane are used to make tubes known as catheter that are inserted into patient's bladder. PET or polyethylene terephthalate are used in making artificial arteries and cardiovascular implants. PET and polypropylene are two most widely used polymer to make food packaging, personal care product packaging and even household cleaning packaging goods. Teflon is a coating polymer material used in non-stick cookware. For safety and defense management, 
The type of polymer known as Kevlar are used to make bulletproof vest, fireman uniform, and helmets of soldier. Bakelite are a safe material which are used as electrical switches and cookware handles. Polymers are also essential in textile industry. For instance, nylon is used to make clothes, fishing line and parachute. Similarly, Paraline is used to make sail clothes and parachute. Synthetic polymers are widely used because of its various properties such as being light, hard, low density, relatively cheaper, including easy to color and shape. Besides that, they are chemically inert and non-flammable. Last but not least, most synthetic polymers can be recycled. You may notice a small recycle symbol on your packaging material such as bottles. These symbols indicate the type of polymers categorized in numbers that can be recycled. Examples are polypropylene PP and high density polyethene HDPE. So guys, it is important to recycle your plastics and reduce wasting by reusing these materials too. This is because synthetic polymers are not biodegradable. Well, that's all for now and thanks for watching.